Hello, Wayside Kids and Friends. It is Miss Michelle. Have you ever seen one of these before? It's a welcome mat. You can actually see down here at the bottom, it does say welcome, but you might wonder what all these other words on this welcome mat is. Well, all the other words on this welcome mat actually say welcome as well. They're just in all different languages for all different people to understand if they would come to your door. We actually have other types of welcome signs where if you take a vacation, states have welcome signs. Like this is Pennsylvania's welcome sign um, in one area. And it just says Pennsylvania welcomes you. And I've seen many of these when I've traveled. There's also cities that also have welcome signs as well. There's another type of welcome sign that you might see. And this one I found on the internet from a, a church. It says, all are welcome. Seriously, we really mean it. They want to welcome everyone into their church because they want everyone to come. The word welcome means to greet someone in a friendly, warm way. And when you have somebody that comes to your home and you want to make them feel comfortable, you may ask them if they need a drink or if they need to have a seat on your couch or a chair. Or maybe they're hungry and you decide to have lunch or dinner with them. Well, do people always feel welcome in your home or even in the church? Do the homeless feel welcome? What about people from different races? or people with different backgrounds, or ones that might not dress as nice as everyone else? Are children made to feel welcome in your church? What if they don't know how they are expected to act in, during the worship service or their Bible school studies? What if they whisper and pass notes or giggle and play games? What if they wiggle and squirm like little two-year-olds who don't know how to sit still and they make noises during the sermon that the pastor is speaking? All these things do happen, and these things happen, and it hasn't ever, it's nothing new. This has happened throughout the years of the church. Even in the day of Jesus, there were people that were not made to feel welcome. But Jesus made everyone feel welcome with him. When the disciples told parents not to bring their children to Jesus because they wanted Jesus to touch them, Jesus told them, no, let the children come to me. Because as we enter the kingdom of God, he wants us to be like little children who want to be with him. And when Jesus heard what his disciples said, he said, let the children come to me and don't stop them. The kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. Anyone who doesn't come like a little child will never enter. Then Jesus took the children in his arms and he blessed them. Jesus knew how to make people welcome. He talked to those and friends, befriended those who others did not want to be around, like the Semite woman with the woman at the well and others. Can you imagine how that those children must have felt when Jesus took them in his arms and blessed them? Shouldn't you and I make everyone else feel welcome just as Jesus did? Because Jesus is our example, and we are supposed to be as Christ-like as possible. So the more we do things the way Jesus did, the more we can be like Jesus. So we're going to bow our heads and put our hands together for our prayer. Dear Father, we want to learn from the, the lesson that Jesus taught us. Help us to make everyone from the youngest to the oldest Feel welcome in our homes, in our church, in our schools, and in our circle of friends, the way Jesus did with his. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys have a great week, and I'll see you next time.